Today we're going to be building a micro campsite to survive in the woods. In the past we've done a mega tent survival, but today we're doing the complete opposite, opposite. and doing everything as micro. micro as possible. Is it possible? I don't know, because it's freezing out and I'm worried. It's so cold. <laughs> what is a micro campsite? Well, we have designed this survival spectrum to explain exactly what it is. So we have the mega zone, which means Everything's over the top. You got giant tents, huge snacks, and last but not least, you have large fun. Moving all the way over to the micro zone, it's a different story. You have small tents, tiny snacks, and itsy bitsy fun. And that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna go to the store and see how many micro items we can find. Tents, snacks, fun. Let's go to the store. So our mission while we're here at the store is to find the most tiny things we could find. So to start, usually you got these normal size oranges, but gotta get the micro oranges. Micro peppers. We want these tiny donuts. <laughs> normal glizzos. No. <laughs> yes, tiny, gl tiny glizzos. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm camping, hot dogs just hit the spot every time. So. Glad they have these tiny hot dogs. When I'm doing anything, they hit the spot. Jumbo marshmallows? Nah. We need the mini marshmallows. We are in the perfect section, the travel zone. Everything here is extremely small for some reason. Hey, this is the toothpaste I use in real life. It's my favorite. Max Fresh. Mini lantern. Look what we found, guys. World's smallest cornhole. Every camping trip, you gotta bring out the cornhole, so you already know Isaac and I are gonna be using this. When you're camping, you need a sleeping bag. And obviously they don't have micro sleeping bags, but they do have kids sleeping bags, which will work as micro, so we're gonna get these. Back from the store with all of our micro camping supplies. To start, we gotta set up the micro tent. Guys, I can't wait for you to see what's inside this box. It is by far my favorite item we bought. You're never gonna guess what it is. Isaac, have you ever set up a tent or went camping before? I actually just set up my first tent in this coming Saturday's video, which we filmed before this video. So I have some experience now. So you're an expert. I don't know about expert. <laughs> That's the size of like a one man mattress. We're both fitting in there? Yep, this is gonna be a tight fit, fellas. Most tents I do not wanna ever set up because they take way too long, there's way too many steps, kinda like I Ikea furniture, but this one, you just put the poles through and you're done. This has gotta be the easiest tent to set up I've ever seen. That's the benefit of having everything micro. It really doesn't take much effort. So this tent is so micro because it's actually a backpacking tent meant for one person. So it has to be super compact. So that way you can just throw it in your backpack and go for a hike. And this isn't the only tent we got. We also got a hunting blind. I think we have to make it our mission to both try and fit in the hunting blind. Do you think it's possible? I think anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get it done. All right guys, there's barely enough room for us in this tent, but we still have to put all of our decorations and activities in there. So really losing a lot of room for us in there. <laughs> it literally, it looks like we didn't buy a lot, but we actually bought a lot. That's how small these items are. All right, it's time to go in for the first time. Oh man, we're getting you snow got, in here. You got snow everywhere. Oh man. Dang, dude. All right, come on in. You got snow all over the floor. Sorry. We'll open our sleeping bags and that'll help. The ground is freezing. Dude, it is so cold. It's just in the snow. Oh yeah, zip it up. Keep the cold air out. Keep the wind from getting through this mesh. Yeah. Since it is so cold, I think it's like 32 degrees out today. We're gonna put our sleeping bags, open them up on the ground, because just sitting on the ground is ice cold. I got a pink unicorn. <laughs> and oh, I got a dinosaur sleeping bag. These are the smallest ones we can oh, find. It's so. so small, it's gonna cover half my torso. I'm glad I got the dinosaur sleeping bag. This is just a nod to my son. He, he loves dinosaurs, so no. here you go, pal. Give a like for how wholesome Justin is. Give a like for how epic Isaac's mustache is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably wondering why Isaac's hair and mustache is red. Well, you're gonna have to go watch our video on Jay Stu because Something happened. My butt is freezing off. Speaking of butts, we have our own chairs. <laughs> oh Dude, yeah. Look how oh small yeah. That chair is. Dude, I actually fit. <laughs> down, I could actually sit comfortably in this chair. Actually? Yeah, you try. You must have a tiny butt. Here you go. I mean, everyone already knows what's about to happen. Hey. Does it work? It's, yeah, it, it does. I'm like fully bending the arms out. Were you confident that this chair was just gonna collapse? Yeah, 100%. Look at the arm. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the weight capacity of these chairs are. After further evaluation, guys, this micro chair is only meant to hold 130 pounds. So I don't even fit the bill for this. That's crazy. And I'm over double that. You guys might be wondering where Andrew's been the last couple of videos. Well, don't worry. He's just on paternity leave. He just had a baby, so he's been at home for the last couple weeks. But he'll be back in the next couple weeks. Don't worry. It's time to give you guys a tour of all the mini camping items we found. And to start off, a mini plate of cookies. Isaac, dive right in, pal. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Mm. Mm. actually really good for a little mini cookie. Look at that. Right over here, we have our activity supplies. I just love this thing. This is an actual painting from an artist. Look how small that is. Wow. But this, world's smallest cornhole, we will be playing on top of Jenga, legit Jenga. And now getting into your standard camping supplies, we found this ultra micro knife. There it is, because you know, in case you need to cut some wood. What? Protect yourself from oh. any bears. Look at that, dude. So small. Yeah. If you need to open a can, dude, this is actually a pretty useful knife. So we got all our other supplies, little mini carabiners, first aid kit. Usually when you're camping, you're gonna get some sort of cut or scrape, at least for me. Travel size, look at this, lint roller. Have our little tiny toothbrush and toothpaste, as well as deodorant. Cause it might get stinky in here. Right, and you guys know the motto over here, must have snacks. We got a giant assortment of different snacks that we're gonna be eating throughout this adventure, including the micro bell peppers, orange, but my personal favorite, the mini hot dog. And you're probably wondering how we are going to cook them. You just wait. You want a donut? Always. Just for you. <laughs> what is your favorite type of donut? Jelly donut's my favorite. Are you thirsty, Isaac? We have mini coca-cola that we're gonna pour into cups mm, look at this dude i actually used to have a really bad coca-cola addiction and so i haven't had it in two years i went cold turkey this will oh. be my first sip in two years i don't want to start back up an addiction for you so <laughs> <laughs> maybe oh the smell oh no don't do it i want to taste no you can't drink oh. a six pack <laughs> resist i want it resist why don't we just put this over here we'll look at it <laughs> instead of coca-cola here, apple juice. Perfect. Can I still get in a little cup? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> You're spilling all over yourself. You're getting it on your sleeping bag. Ah, I'm sorry. What are you doing? There we go. Looks like beer. Just kidding. I don't know what beer looks like. <laughs> I'm starting to get a heartburn from all these little snacks. You got anything for that? Mini Tums? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Dude, what? Tums, Tums are too big for mini containers, I guess. Oh, is that regulation size? I think so. If you make a hole in one your first try, I'll give you a hundred bucks. So you have to be behind the board. Okay. Whoa, you can't do that. I'm behind the board. Ah. Oh, <laughs> they go bouncing crazy. If you get a hole in one, I'll give you a kiss. All right, I'm, I quit. On the head. Yeah, I definitely quit. I'm in a Mr. Beast video if I make this. I get half a million dollars for my family. Oh, good night. All right, if you make this one, you have to give me a hundred dollars again. Okay. Yeah! Oh, let's go even closer. Let's put them like right here. Let's see if you can make one. I know you all have been waiting for the moment that Isaac and I try and fit inside this hunting blind. Isaac, you go first. Me first? Your whole body needs to fit in there. Look at that. I really fit in here. How are you gonna get in here? Are you fully in? No. Wow. All right, I'm in. Okay. Get in here. Ah! <laughs> this is kind of weird. Ow! Get in. Oh! Ow! Get in. Get in here, Drew. This looks kind of strange. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I, dude, I can't scoot over. There's nowhere to scoot. Where? Backwards? Oh! <laughs> Wait, what is this hole? Okay, I'm almost completely into the hunting blind. Okay. <laughs> yes! Yeah, we did it. No way. Like you said, the impossible is always possible, Always right? possible. The whole... Isaac, dude, you you're... Think... Look at his bum Am just I... ripped the whole backside <laughs> off. Am I even in the tent anymore? Well, technically, yes. Let me get in more. Oh! Oh my god! What are you doing? I can't lean forward! <laughs> I got you. Ah! Ow! 
You're right breaking our hunting line. <laughs> well, I guess we can't go both go hunting. <laughs> I feel like ah, a a Eurocon. I feel accomplished. What did we accomplish again? We, we did it. Oh. Hey Drew, you want to verse me and Isaac in Jenga? Yeah. Oh, hey! The pin's gonna fall over you freak. Remo's back yeah. right now. No. We got a little uh, special chocolate for the road for you, Drew. If you Man, beat us. Three it. people in here is getting pretty snug. Well, well, you, 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 <laughs> you gotta scoot over. Like, I can literally zip. <laughs> this is what's inside the tent. <laughs> it's like, we also have right here our micro table for this Jenga match. Ooh. Guaranteed, Drew's not gonna beat us. Oh. Guaranteed for your money back. Oh my a little knife for a little man. Tiny Jenga. That is so much smaller than I expected. <laughs> Be very careful. Be careful. Any sudden move is gonna make this thing fall. <laughs> oh, God oh, damn it! Ah! All right, we gotta start from scratch, guys. Who made this thing? In order to properly get the Jenga pieces out, I'm gonna use this micro match. Me too. Who goes first? I'll go first. <laughs> Were you trying to get that piece out? This one. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. The whole pile moved, just barely touching it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Push it oh. Is it way out? You're shaky. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, Drew. You can't already make the pile fall. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you, you can, what are you doing? You can't, you can't fix the stack. <laughs> micro adjustments, okay? It's part of the game. Yeah. You're picking another piece? No, he's making those micro adjustments. Oh, that counts. Yes. You got two of that one, guys. Dang. I'm so good. Hey, that's pretty easy. Check me. Oh, man. <laughs> what was that? Oh, bada boom. Oh. oh. Yes. I'm Mine. kind of the champion of this game. Famous last words. I have a trick up my sleeve. Wait. Oh Aw, man. What was that going to do? Oh. No. Ah, man. All right, Drew. Yes. You get the chocolate. Woo. Where are they? Oh, I didn't oh. lose. Over there. Your Ooh. own special bag of micro chocolate. Go. Are they actually tiny inside as well? Or are they like normal size? Oh, f Thanks for stopping by the tent, Drew. Feel free to come back whenever you want. We have plenty of other fun activities. Ooh, yeah, let me guys know when you open up this thing. I'll bring my Speedo. Wait, <laughs> what? I don't know what Drew's on, man. I'm getting kind of hungry for lunch, yeah. Andy. What do we have for lunch? You already know, mini hot dogs, brother. No. Glazitas? Glazitos. It is finally time to show you what's in the box. It is an official mini fire pit. And guess what? We also got some hot chocolate, which we, we can make later. But check this thing out. So Here we go, Let's put it right there. It's a perfect ledge for fingerboarding. You could say that. You're probably wondering how on earth is this a fire pit? Well, let me show you. It doesn't take wood. It actually takes this rubbing alcohol. Now definitely be careful. If this spills, it'll literally light this whole thing. So now that the liquid's in there, all you do is... Sometimes it takes a minute too, because... Ow! <laughs> Alright guys, serious mode is activated because if we do accidentally knock this over or spill it, the alcohol will get all over the place and then it'll all light on fire. And we don't want that. No. So we're being very safe and careful now. You actually got it lit, dude. What the heck? Hey, hey! I'm not so dumb after all. Alright, now we got the mini dogs out. The only way we cook them is over the fire. Classic campfire style. And don't worry about this fire, guys. This actually burns clean. There's no smoke, so we're perfectly fine doing this. It's made for the indoors. What happens if wiener grease gets in the alcohol? Nothing. <gasps> ah! What the heck? My whole match got on fire. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, give it a bite, man. That looks great. That looks real good. All right. That's perfect. Wow, that's really good, actually. Perfectly crisp, and since they're so small, they cook a lot quicker. Mmm. Aren't those juicy? Dude, those are so good. That was super satisfying. Yeah. Now we'll just do that 20 more times and we'll be full. All right, you ready for dessert? What's that? You haven't had these color pops before? Oh, those are ice pops? Yeah, color yeah. pops. Oh. <laughs> what was that? The crunch on these, so satisfying. Ah, whoa! 
<laughs> what? All right, man, I want to open up these uh, little mini balls. Oh, we forgot, guys. We each got one of these. I didn't forget. I've been I've been looking at them the whole time. See what you get. What? Oh, uh, it's gone. It's lost in the abyss of my crotch. Mini water balloons? Beat your parents. Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. Come that on, could, duh. I'm going to put this in the fire. This one's sick. A little dinosaur? One of these. But mini. Let's see what I got? Inflatable pool toy. Barbie doll car? Dude, the micro Rubik's Cube. Unicorn doll. Lame. Whoa, 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 lame, man. What are you, what are you saying about my sleeping bag? Oh, yeah, you could have that. Uh, yeah. All right, we just had our afternoon snack. Now it's time for our afternoon nap. We gotta see how well we fit in these sleeping bags. And take a wild guess and say not very. Very. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you just sat on my foot. Oops, sorry. You, can you get all the way into the bag? I actually fit in here. It is definitely not comfortable at all, but it's slightly warmer. Without the sleeping bags, this floor is actually super cold because it's just straight up on snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath already. Oh my gosh. How much would you need to survive a week in this tent only? Oh my gosh. In the summer, probably less, but in the winter, I don't know, man, like 100K minimum. This would be awful. Ow! What the heck? <laughs> all right, snuggle time. No snuggling in this tent. Gosh. <laughs> Dang, I saw your breath go right over. What are you doing? What are you filming? Why does it smell like perfume? Did you spray the cologne? I mean the... <laughs> Prank, yeah, you it, thought it was it me coughing. It stinks in here. Yeah, it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was it? Oh, that was a good prank. Well, guys, as you can see, the sun has gone down. It's dark now, and it's getting way colder. It's but good. we still got the fire going. Our favorite time of night, s'mores. Can't have a good camp without some s'mores. And, of course, we got mini marshmallows. There you are. Oh, yeah. You want, a, you want an extra one, maybe? Yeah, of course. Always. Always if you're, two. If you're a one marshmallow person on your s'mores, you're crazy. Yeah, so these should get nice and toasty really quick. Oh, yeah, look at that. And of course, we got the micro Hershey's. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. One biter. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I'm gonna make a special hot chocolate. So of course, I got the hot chocolate mix, but this time, I'm gonna be making a keepy uppy <gasps> hot chocolate. And by the way, if you guys haven't got your Keepy Uppy, it's still available and it's waiting for you. So go get it, keepyuppy.coffee. It tastes so good. You broke the glass? So there might be glass in our hot chocolate. <laughs> well, that's gonna definitely get glass here. Yeah. It's not even moving. <gasps> what have you done? Just keep breaking it. Yes! I guess that works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Man, I'm so sticky. All right, you want some? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna lap it up like a cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Is it good? No. <laughs> <sighs> you always have to wet your toothbrush, you silly goose. <laughs> There's not a chance we could survive out here. It is way too cold, way too small in there. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and uh, we'll see you on the next video.